All right, Stephanie, we're going to watch your breaststroke here. Uh, while we're watching the breaststroke, as you know, just make sure to check out the notes that are in the email as well. Those are different things we see that we want you to work on, different things we see we want you to continue to do. Um, you're doing such a great job in senior this year. I don't think I could be any more impressed and pleased with your progress and just thrilled. So let's kind of take a look and see what we can do um, and see where we think we can help out a little bit. All right, so before we even start anything, let's talk about the body line here. You got your hands outstretched. You got your legs perfectly where they need to be, but your head's a little high in that water. Make sure you work on getting that chin down, your eyes down, so that really your ears are almost right in line with your biceps. Okay, so you want to get those heads down just a little bit better. Although I guess you only have one head, so you want to get that head down just a little bit better. All right, as we start that first stroke here, Great job of turning your thumbs down and your pinkies up. Great job of catching going outwards. Absolutely love the early catch. That's so good. Getting that head up early, which is excellent. You've got nice high elbows. Your hands are really pushing back and pulling yourself through that water and pulling yourself forward. And that's what you've got to be doing. So good early breath and good pull. As you start to come underneath your shoulder, underneath your chin, it's a good job of not going too far back. Um, knees look like they're in a little bit, so that's good. Got to get those feet a little bit closer to your hips a little bit earlier. There they come. Now they're right by your hips. Head position looks excellent. Hands are a little lower. Get them up a little bit higher. Make sure you're pushing forward and not down so much. All right, so let's kind of talk. Well, we'll go. We'll come into this in a second. Good job of finishing your kick, and a good job of getting your next stroke. You can see all the air bubbles you have right there on that left side. A big part of the reason why you have the air bubbles there is your left hand was a little too high. Make sure those hands are underwater, a couple inches underwater as you start that pull, and don't let it come up quite so high. If you're catching air, you're not pulling the water very well. All right, right here you can see. Your, your hands are a little bit low in that water. Get those hands up a little bit higher so you can push forward a little bit better. Eyes are down. You just got to get that head down better. Okay? Got to get that head in that water, and you got to get your arms up higher. All right. So right here, we're going to look at our body line, right? So here we are up here. And then this. So it's not a very straight body line. What we want to see when you're swimming breaststroke and when you're doing the recovery, which is the push forward and the finish of the kick, we want to see your toes here and everything else right in that same plane. So you can see on one hand, you've got all this underneath where it should be. On this side, you've got this above where it should be. And even up here is a little bit above where your body line should be. So work on getting that body line straight just a little bit better. A lot of lines you got to get rid of. All right. As we push into the wall here, great job of stretching that wall. Nice last stroke in. We don't want to see people get too uh, – we don't want to see people get so close we're not able to finish your kick. We don't want to see people so far away that you're having to glide. You hit that wall exactly where you need it to go. Now, the one thing I remember from you, you do a good job of stacking those feet. You've got those feet driving that wall really, really well. And, and to be honest, you're the first person I've seen turn this direction. So it's nice that I can actually see the way this turn looks. Eyes are looking to the side. Remember, we want those head, that head up. We want to watch that hand slide behind that ear a little bit better. All right, as we push off the wall, we can see that our knees, one is this way, one is this way. Your feet are here and here. What we want to see is your feet more in this direction then your knees more in this direction. Or I guess for you, it would be the other way, right? But even still, you want those knees up on an angle so that as you're pushing, you're turning off, you're turning over to your stomach. We don't want to be quite as much on your stomach as you are here, all right? So work on keeping your knees up a little bit higher. As you come off that wall, that's an excellent body line. Remember the video, remember the, the diagram I was just showing you here? This is a great body line, okay? So great pull or great... Great push off the wall with a streamline. Nice dolphin kick. Could be a little bit stronger, but it's a good dolphin kick. 
on that after the dolphin kick, wait for about two seconds before you start your pull. You can see that you're already into your pull here, and you just finished that kick. Let the kick push you just a little bit. Pull looks good, but you can see that those hands are above your hips. You want to make sure those hands are finishing right on your thighs a little bit. Now, the other thing here, you can see that you've got a little bit too much of a hunch from your head going too low. Okay, you want to make sure that head stays still. So it's right here, up higher. So you're here, want your head up. Lift that head up just a little bit. Eyes down, not chin down. As you get into your underwater kick, you want to make sure you slide those hands up your belly button. Okay, so your hands kind of come down. You want to take those hands from your hips and go all the way up. So just slide them right across up your belly button all the way to the top of that stroke. Okay, we don't want to be pointing down there. When we point down there, we kind of cause a little bit more drag going this direction. So we want to try to avoid as much water as we can. Great job on your first stroke. Your head's breaking the surface right as you're starting your pull. That is excellent, Stephanie. Very, very well done there. Kick looks good. Great job, Steph. 